This video on how to write a referral will help you manage referrals within your classroom and help you to make good decisions with students and the disciplinary actions that may happen in your classroom. Because we want to facilitate instruction and have you have an opportunity to learn from this, we are going to look at a few scenarios that can take place in a classroom and have us take time to pause these videos and talk about what we saw and what we could do. This video is geared to help us have starting conversations about this process and by no means is an end all for everything that could happen in a classroom environment. We want to give you the tools that you could start with so that you can make better decisions and know where to go in order to be successful with the students that you teach every day. Before writing an office disciplinary referral for a student, please refer to our student behavior management process decision tree located in the PBIS handbook. Our goal is to create positive relationships with students, so we need to make sure we are addressing behaviors in the classroom before they come to the office, unless the behavior poses an immediate danger. For minor or classroom managed behaviors, take concrete action to correct the behavior. Conference with the student after class. Spend some time with them. When possible, have the corrective action correspond to the behavior concern. Thinking about your highlights from all the four years at Conwalk High School, all the Let's try this. Here's a classroom scenario. Please observe what is taking place and then we will talk about it. Think back to your teams, think back to your club. Rocky, can you please put your phone down? And then start thinking about graduation, right? And how awesome that's gonna be. That's nice. Think about that Rocky. Please don't do that. I'll get you another piece of paper now, okay? Hey! Hey, Rocky. Don't do that. You guys, you guys are good to go. Rocky, do you mind just hanging out for a few moments? Now that you've observed this classroom, Let's talk about what you could have done or what you might have done. And then we will see how this teacher handled these three disciplinary actions. Let's hit pause here and try this out. How would you have managed to correct or model appropriate behavior with this scenario? Hit pause and we are back. Rocky, let's talk about class today. You first ran your phone when you shouldn't have been, then you crumpled up your assignment and threw it across the room, and then you hit poor Ben in the head. All three of these behaviors are inappropriate, okay? So we're gonna have to work on our behavior, and just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and give your parents a phone call and follow up with an email. Okay, we're good now. Hi, is Roxanne Raccoon there? Hi Roxanne, this is Danielle Bugle. Having a conversation with the student, following up with an email, and making a phone call will create a triangulation between yourself, the student, and the parents. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Because every individual student is different and every situation is different as well, we're going to take time here to discuss many different ways we can handle these types of incidents that take place in our classroom and what we would do. Hit pause and we are back. In this next situation, we are going to take a look at a scenario in a classroom environment in which the student's behaviors do cause a threat. Let's observe and then we will talk about it. Thanks, Thank you. What the heck, dude? Rocky! Rocky! Rocky, your behavior is inappropriate and threatening. As you can see, here is one example of where a student's decisions and behaviors are causing a threat to the classroom. It is at this point that we will take some time to look at how to write a proper referral and how to use the management system we have in place. Hit pause, and we are back. At this point, your instructor will walk you through an example of how to write a referral. 
Each of the images on the screen will help you to identify where you are in the process, and then the person in the room who is instructing will help you to facilitate the steps necessary to be successful. If you are completing this task on your own, take a look at the images on the screen and make sure they line up with what you're doing on your own computer. Step one, log into your Skyward account. Step two, click on Teacher Access. Under Teacher Access, the option for My Students pops up. Click on My Students. At this point, all of your students will be displayed. Locate the student you are writing the discipline for. Let's hit pause here so that you can have some time to look at this. Hit pause, and we are back. Once you've selected a student, the Student Info folder will give you options. Select Discipline. Once you select Discipline, click on the Add button and you will be able to begin. This is the page that will pop up. Let's do this final step and answer any questions that we have remaining. Hit pause, and we are back. Teaching to the OHS community commitments found in our PBIS handbook will ensure that we create a culture of learners that are ready for life now and in the future.